Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a great year so far. Um, but I today I have the Dash Fun Cake Baker. I've been looking for this for a long time. I ended up finding it at Bed Bath & Beyond. I just ordered it online. I used a gift card. But this is 350 watts. And I'm finding that most of the Mint Dash Mini appliances are 350 watts. And then it has the little lifter for um, the cake to lift it out. It heats up fairly quick. It has a nice bunt pan design on the top here. And um, I will insert some pictures of the panels of the box so you can pause it and read, it, uh, read them. But something interesting that I did find out, like this does not have how many watts it is. If you turn it over, down here it tells you, uh, gives you all the information and tells you what the wattage is. But it came in, of course, their signature little uh, envelope here. And it's a really nice uh, book, instruction book. Uh, what I love about the Dash appliances is they give you so many nice recipes. There's about 10 recipes in here. There's two keto recipes in here if you're interested in that. Gluten-free dark chocolate mini bunk cake. I believe this is the only gluten-free recipe, but I'm sure you can, um, you can customize these to make them gluten-free. And then they also give you some really nice um, glaze recipes and tell you which glaze goes best with which uh, cake recipe and then uh, like we're here they have the recommended combination recommended combinations let me bring you in a little closer and we'll mix this up and get it started okay um, I have this plugged in a while, then I'm sure the light will go off when it is uh, ready to bake. So I am just going to um, follow the recipe on, well, the directions on the cake, uh, the, the blueberry muffin box mix. It's one package of the muffin mix, one egg, and a fourth cup of milk. So I'm going to put the milk and egg in first so that the dry ingredients don't hang on to the bottom. And then I'm just gonna use my Tupperware open-ended whisk. This thing's awesome because the egg and stuff doesn't hang in the bottom. Um, I'm, the light went off, so it's preheated, so I'm going to use it. But I'm just going to use a little bit of vegetable oil spray. The directions do say to do that. And I don't know how many this will make, so we will find out. Uh, the Jiffy Mix packages are not that big. I have it maybe three-fourths of the way full. We'll set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, I'm back. I did take a peek to see how it was doing, and it is looking nice and brown. I just want to stick a toothpick in the middle. It comes out clean. Now, this has a nice silicone... Uh, tabs on here. They're still a little warm, so um, depending on how sensitive your hands are, you may want to use a um, hot pad. So I'm just going to go like this, put that back in, and wow, really nice. 
So now what I'm gonna do to finish this one off, uh, while this one's uh, cooking, uh, we'll take a look at this one. I just have a little bit of powdered sugar here and a little Tupperware uh, salt and pepper shaker. And I'm just gonna put some uh, 10x uh, sugar, powdered sugar on it. Now you could do the glaze if you want, um, but I just wanna make it quick and simple. Okay, I'm back and I have my last one in and I got three nice size ones and this fourth one is gonna be really small, probably half the size, I didn't have much batter left. So I probably could have put more batter in each one of these and got three nice size ones. Here it is and I'm going to cut it open and we can see what it looks like on the inside. It's, it's nice and crunchy on the outside and that's what it looks like on the inside. And uh, that's it, really quick, really easy. It really didn't take me long to do these. It took an average of seven to eight minutes to do one. So 10 to 12 for this particular mix is a, a little high in temperature, I think. Uh, this one was in like nine minutes and it did get really, really brown. Um, let me show you the bottom. It's a nice golden brown on the bottom. Uh, this one when it was in for the full 10 minutes and it got pretty brown on the bottom. But I feel like having it in that long is gonna really dry it out also. So that's it, this is the, the Dash Mini Bundt Cake Maker and there's some really good recipes in the book I plan on uh, doing videos for, so stay tuned for those. And thanks for visiting my channel. I hope everyone's staying safe, healthy, and happy and I will see you next video, bye.